we want to simplify the given expression, we have negative three x to the third raised to the fifth. We'll be applying the power to power property of exponents shown here below, where a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So if we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. We need to be a little careful here though because the coefficient of negative three is raised to the first power. So let's rewrite this to be more clear as negative three raised to the first, x to the third raised to the fifth. Now again, here we have powers to powers, so we multiply the exponents. So we'd have negative three to the power of one times five times x raised to the power of three times five. So here we have negative three raised to the fifth times x raised to the power of three times five, which is 15. And now we need to evaluate negative three to the fifth. So in parentheses we have negative three, close parenthesis, raised to the fifth, which equals negative 243. So this simplifies to negative 243 x to the fifteenth. Now I do want to show us another way. If we start with negative three x to the third raised to the fifth, as long as we know what it means when something is raised to the fifth power, we can always expand this and then simplify. Because we have negative three x to the third raised to the fifth, we know we have five factors of negative three x to the third. Now in this form, when we multiply, notice how we can actually count the factors of negative three. We have one, two, three, four, five factors of negative three, which gives us negative three to the fifth. And then we have x to the third times 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 x to the third. And when multiplying the bases are the same, we add the exponents, which would give us x to the three plus three plus three plus three plus three is equal to 15, which gives us the same result negative 243 x to the fifteenth. So as we can see from these two methods, applying the power to power property allows us to simplify this exponential expression much faster, but as long as you know what an exponent means, we can always expand and simplify as well. I hope you found this helpful.